Hi, this is Dana and on this channel I speak about spiritual warfare. Uh, in this video, God has guided me to speak about, one more time, <laughs> about um, this engagement with uh, darkness, with people who work with darkness particularly. Um, and uh, basically, we can define this as a narcissistic behavior. The, I think one key point to, to understand in this um, encounter, not engagement encounter, I would say it's uh, to understand that the narcissistic behavior comes um, from uh, a very well studied uh, psychological effect on you, aiming to destabilize you, uh, to drag you down uh, in order so they can access you, so they can get you stuck in certain timelines where lower uh, entities can actually feed on you and uh, they can actually um, target you. Yeah, uh, If you are on a lower level of vibration, they can um, do artificial telepathy on you. Uh, lower level of vibration can be reached on you, including with technology. If you are surrounded by uh, individuals who attack you constantly by technology and by a uh, gang stalking group, which means the, uh, the power of many, uh, basically uh, they can do this only to drag you down uh, at a lower level vibration. So they will study you and they will do whatever annoys you, whatever triggers you. In, and triggers you, I will define it now so it will be clear. Whatever makes you angry, makes you sad, makes you uh, depressed, makes you uh, puts you in a lower vibration, in a uh, emotion, uh, a negative emotion, yeah. Uh, for you uh, to move forward, you need to uh, raise your vibration. But when you say this, there's a lot of things uh, uh, involved in this. Uh, on one hand is the spiritual fighting, so you can cut off the darkness which they send on you with ritualic practices and with uh, contracts, uh, with convents and so on. Um, but uh, also uh, you, you need uh, to do healing on yourself. Yeah. Now, I said in other videos, and I, I will say it again because God says uh, this is important now for me to talk about. Um, all of this is psychological warfare. You can Google and study psychological warfare to understand uh, how you do spiritual fighting against these individuals working with darkness yeah, and with narcissistic behavior. And I emphasize this is a studied behavior on purpose, created on purpose on you. So you will understand that empathy doesn't play a role. It's a very well placed, very wrong placed uh, emotion if you have empathy for them because they do this on purpose. Now, of course, you can get into all sorts of discussion about him not, they not, them not being healed, and this is why they hurt you. And uh, basically, for me, all boils down to the fact that these are individuals who are willing to do harm on others to steal from them because they don't want to work. You can make money working. I worked all my life, uh, and I, all my money I made working myself, uh, supporting myself financially. Uh, since I was 18 years old, um, so uh, they can they could have done the same thing, and I've been uh, providing for myself uh, in spite of their uh, uh, contracts and attacks on me. Yeah, uh, so they could have done the same thing. They could have worked to gain the money, but actually, they just are willing to do anything. Uh, so they will not work. So they will get the promotion ahead of time. So they place importance on totally different things on worldly things and the, your advantage while you're doing spiritual fighting is to place uh, importance on um, things which they cannot get uh, take from you yeah and that is god that is the divine real they cannot take this for, from you ever yeah so uh, they will uh, steal your money they will try to steal your possession your properties they will mock you they they will do anything to humiliate you to hurt you to everything but as long as you still have God, as long as you place the greatest importance on God, they can never take God away from you. Because no matter what you do, no matter what you do, at any point in time, God will never forsake you if you call on him. Never. And I, God showed me that many individuals are very hesitant and fearful of claiming justice because they know they have done wrong. 
I think this is very silly and this is a, some sort of mind programming because I, personally I was never, never afraid to claim justice, uh, judgment and punishment. And I always said, if I have done something wrong, God will judge me. I don't need anybody else to judge me. Nobody else has power over me. Nobody else has rights over me. Only God can judge me. But I know while God will judge me, God will always uh, hold me and, and help me to move forward. Even the, whatever punishment God would ever, uh, let's assume, uh, uh, give me, still he will do that in a way so I will evolve. He will not do this in a way so I would get lost. Yeah. So I prefer to do this and to, to love my God and to call on him and claim justice for him, even if I did something wrong. So I think that on one hand, God always said, you think this way because you don't do the wrong things. But if you would have done wrong things, you wouldn't think the same way. But I think this is the problem. This is the problem. This is, it, it's not only the fact that you, for, if you always place the greatest importance on God, you will never do wrong things in the first place. Because you know that everything you do, and this has been my way of living. I knew that whatever I was doing in any kind of relation, work relation, friendship relation, love relation, whatever kind of uh, um, and, and then, um, project I would build, whatever I would do, I would always consider this, whatever I do is between me and God. So for this reason, you never get tempted to do the, the wrong thing if you always keep God in your mind. Uh, because you know you know that God is seeing you, yeah, uh, and then you will never be fearful to claim justice. But this is this is very important dimension anyhow. Uh, as long because in a, a spiritual fighting and a psychological warfare, uh, as long as you have this focus on God and divine realm, they cannot take you down simply because they cannot take God from you. That's all. Uh, and I think this is extremely important, but. God is saying to me, move on. <laughs> so I will talk more about practical um, um, encounters in psychological warfare. And uh, I, I believe that, uh, I said this before, one of the most important things is that you do not uh, give them what they want. You understand, in a psychological warfare, let's say it's like this. Um, who destabilizes the other one first? So... It's more, more or like like a suicide type of uh, approach to uh, this. Let's stay this in. So you send death to me. Let's see. Let's both face death. Which one of us dies? I believe God upholds me. Do you have the same guts to uh, uh, face death? They won't. Yeah, because they worked with darkness, and they know. They know, at least on subconscious level, on a higher self uh, level, they know that uh, darkness has power over them. So I many times have done this, uh, and I said also in my videos, it's not that I'm encouraging anyone to do exactly what, what I do. It's only God's fault, because God always tells me, talk about you, explain how you think, <laughs> because um, I think this will help. Uh, so I'm just giving you an example, you, but I emphasize you have to find your own example which works for you. Yeah, but I said this in other videos in psychological warfare. If you feel like you sleep, uh, like you uh, don't have the power to withstand the attack or um, it's just becoming overwhelming, it's becoming too much, it's becoming. I said this, my strategy is always escalate. If it's. Uh, draining you and you cannot withstand it, escalate, escalate the conflict uh, in such a way so uh, stronger attacks will come. Yeah, and I will give you an example, um, even in a, a normal circumstance. For example, uh, there are situations in which many, uh, many of my neighbors are sending um, huge, huge hypnosis uh, attacks in order to blur uh, my awareness, to block my awareness, to um, literally uh, force me, uh, um, to block me to see, to understand, to read energy, to, you know, and then they do glamour spells and all sorts of uh, uh, things in order to um, 
alter my uh, awareness, energy awareness, so I will not be able to distinguish. So they will bend my will in the end. Um, and then, uh, for example, I have one neighbor, for example, <laughs> who uh, she's very, very dark. She's one of the double gangers who impersonated me in stealing uh, my identity and actually creating uh, not only fake profiles on different uh, platforms, but um, also uh, created a bank account in my name for a number of years. She went into that bank and took money in my name, signed papers in my name. I mean, she went very far. She went to my former institution, MFA, and she um, cashed money in my name, which I'm still um, fighting to get those money back because I never received money. She was the one who went there to take money in my name as well. Uh, as long, uh, and this is also why she created that uh, uh, bank account in my name and so on, in order to cash money in my name from different sources, one of them being the MFA where I worked. So she has done a lot of harm. Um, she has done death rituals on me. She has done all sorts of um, uh, sex magic, beauty magic, glamour magic. Oh, I cannot even explain to you. I don't think there is yet something that she hasn't done in darkness uh, against me. And uh, for this reason, because she has done so much harm, you know, she has a satanic presence in her energy. You know, I don't need to even check uh, when I am in, in my when I am in my house and she comes in the neighborhood, I feel uh, the satanic presence in her. I can tell you from a distance when she approaches, when she comes, because it's a very heavy darkness. It's, it's a satanic energy, you know, um, because she has done so much harm. She has stolen money in so many places in my name and uh, she will be punished. She will go to jail for this, to prison. But anyhow, uh, when she comes nearby, uh, then uh, basically, she has so much darkness, so much satanic presence in her energy that all the hypnosis that the other neighbors are doing goes away. So this is an escalation which I don't create it, but it's an example of how escalation of a conflict uh, can, of, uh, of, of an encounter can take place. You uh, change the energy. Uh, but in this case that I gave you, the example that I gave you, it's not that I change it. It's when she comes, when she uh, brings, or whoever, whoever brings her, whatever. Um, but this is what I mean. Then if you're in a hypnotic energy, uh, which is meant to block you, uh, you look for the opposite type of energy, which of course is not desirable because satanic energy is very painful and it's very uh, difficult to uh, to withstand, yeah? But it's better to be in a confrontation in a satanic uh, energy, which is more brutal, than to be uh, for a long term in a, a hypnotic energy, which basically blocks your energy awareness, yeah? So uh, this is an example which I give you. Of course, you can go and identify a few uh, places or people with satanic energy and go... Uh, around them when you feel like you're bombarded with hypnosis. I'm just giving you an example, but I just want to, because God said, talk about how you escalate conflict, yeah? Like this. So normally, for example, when um, this uh, stupid slut, uh, which I mentioned, uh, is attacking me, I ignore her, yeah? Because I finished uh, timelines with her, I closed all uh, bondage breaking with her with whatever timelines she uh, accessed so basically she doesn't have power she doesn't have uh, any kind of but she carries a satanic energy so if she sends an attack even if i don't have a bondage to break with her uh, that's still painful you know um, so normally i would leave her alone i would ignore her yeah but if i feel that the hypnosis is too strong you know then i will uh, respond to her attacks because this way, my energy awareness increases. I escalate the attack, yeah? So normally I would sit. But if I notice that um, uh, hypnosis is being sent to me from many uh, different individuals, uh, and I feel like it's too much draining me, and it's just too much blurring my awareness, and she is around and she attacks me uh, with satanic energy, because this is what she has, yeah? Uh, then um, I will answer to her um, 
uh, attacks and then uh, by just engaging with dark energy from her satanic presence automatically your energy awareness uh, increases because uh, let me explain as I, as you respond to a satanic attack like in this case when she attacks me uh, if i respond to her attacks um the satanic presence in her uh, basically um dispels the hypnosis this is the effect because it's it's a dark uh, it's a dark energy you see so you find a totally different energy basically i gave you a very concrete example so you will understand the logic of it it's not that i uh, say that it's uh, desirable to have a neighbor which has satanic uh, possession and uh, is uh, obsessed with you <laughs> i'm not saying that but you work with what you have yeah so you uh, study your environment you identify what type of uh, energy attacks you receive from whom and then you work with them because at the end of the day they will end up fighting among themselves or by you engaging with one type of energy uh, not engaging uh, engaging in, in sense of fighting with it you automatically uh, dispel the other energy from your uh, surrounding you understand it's like uh, say you have a dog who's attacking you uh, on one hand uh, and uh, on another hand, you have uh, a cat who's following you, let's say, from a distance. Yeah, <clears throat> If you engage and start fight with the dog, the cat will run away. Do you see my meaning? Because I don't know what other example to give you. Yeah. Um, so this is how you escalate uh, the attack, uh, how you escalate um, spiritual fighting in order to uh, manage energy, to control energy. Uh, you know yourself, so you, when you feel uh, most important is that you don't allow for hypnotic attack to take power over you because then that's when the programming uh, starts and then it's very difficult because you have to do deep cleaning. It's not that you cannot overcome it, but you have to do deep cleaning. Um, but it's much uh, better for you to preserve a certain level of awareness. So then you escalate the attack. Okay, so this is one part of, I don't know why God pushed me into this discussion. Probably this is what uh, he wanted uh, to me to talk about about energy uh, control and management actually god says energy management yeah work with the attacks you cannot if you are being targeted please know that they will uh, uh, direct at you technology uh, many groups of gang stalking they actually have uh, contracts among themselves and they can only send an sms to each other and establish an hour when all of them do the same attack to you and in my spiritual fighting, God has shown me that, uh, as I explained, I live in a village uh, at the outskirts of the uh, capital city. Um, and God has shown to me that the gang stalking group here is coordinating with all uh, gang stalking groups in all the um, uh, villages and, and uh, neighborhoods uh, on the entire outskirts of the city. So I'm in the south and they work with those in the north. You understand? When God showed me this, I was, oh my God, this is crazy. And even they work with different monasteries in different parts uh, of, uh, the, of the city. So uh, actually I know exactly who's attacking me. And by the uh, power of the attack, I can tell how many uh, gang stalking groups uh, are involved in an attack. Because God already has shown to me in so many years that I've been fighting. So when this happens, you must understand that you will not be able to um, uh, uphold uh, the, in your energy uh, against all of them. So sometimes you work with the energy they send to you. Do you understand? The way I explained to you, we work with the, uh, that energy, namely that you fight that, you fight back the one which is stronger. Or uh, you find ways uh, to pit them against each other uh, you find ways to work with the energy which is sent to you yeah so you can uh, level up, you can still be on top of it basically yeah uh, but for this of course you have to identify what type of energy is being sent and from which direction yeah and you must uh, then uh, make a strategy which helps you uh, preserve your energy awareness this is very important because this can be done uh, to you wherever you are 
So to make a plan in order to deal with your attacks, knowing that this is a protracted uh, war, this will take time, this doesn't end tomorrow. So you know that you have to have a strategy to deal with the attacks which are directed at you. So you can be able to move around, to do your things, to stay in your house without being overwhelmed uh, by those attacks and so on. So for this reason, you have to identify, okay, how many attacks I have, how many types of attacks, what type of energy, how can I work uh, and uh, work with a different type of energy which is being sent by different individuals. Yeah, And you find this um, uh, a way uh, in which basically um, you engage with that type or encounter or fight off that type of energy which um, does the less damage on you, basically. <laughs> uh, that's the point. Uh, so I didn't know that this is a discussion about energy. God didn't tell me. God just told me to talk about uh narcissistic uh, toxic uh, engagement and the uh, psychology of individuals who attack you and i already said um you must understand that their purpose is to destabilize you your purpose is to say no i will not budge let's see okay so let's see what's next bring it on let's see what's next i will stay above this and even knowing that even if Sometimes you get triggered. I get triggers as well. Sometimes I get uh, angry because it's just, I'm like, yeah, that's enough. And you just need to know that if you sleep and you get angry, you get triggered, they get to feed or something, you can bounce back immediately. You can bounce back immediately. You uh, make your list of revocations, of uh, prayer, of healing, of um, and you must be innovative. I do not know everyone's situation, but I said in other videos, you must be innovative. You must create different ways, unexpected, unexpected ways for them uh, to um, respond to what they've done. And always you claim justice, judgment and punishment. I will tell you this. When they attack me, I go out in my courtyard. I look in their eyes and I, I say in astral. Uh, I claim judgment, um, justice, judgment, and punishment on, and I say his name, and I look in his eyes. Get the fuck out of my face. But I don't say out loud any word, but I know that they they can hear in astral because they, they are in this convent. This is why they sign up in this convent, so they can get access to astral uh, undes undeservingly without doing their own work, yeah? So they can do harm on others. But because I know they can hear me, then I can I say it in their face. But they cannot come to say anything to me because I didn't say anything to them. I don't even say hello. Nothing. I just look at them and I say, I claim justice, judgment, and punishment on so. And I say their name. And I look at them. Yeah, so come to me. Say something. Just say something now. What the fuck you mean? So uh, it's basically... Uh, and this will trigger them. You will see that this will trigger them because they fear judgment from God. This is one example. I gave you one concrete example how you can do this. And I honestly do it every time. You cannot actually ask my neighbors <laughs> because I do it for years. And, uh, and actually, I'm not hiding that I'm doing it. What do you mean? I don't hide who I am and that I fight next to God against you all and that you are fighting against me. So this is one example how you can trigger them. So you find ways to trigger them. You flip the script. This is the point. This is how you move on with them. Um, and deny whatever, understand what they aim to get from you. Always deny what they want. Because this will trigger them a lot, I tell you. So understand what they want. And just don't, uh, don't under any circumstances, allow them to receive what they want. Yeah? Um, this is very important. Again, it's a psychological uh, war. Uh, so you need to understand your opponent very well in order to be able to create a, a pertinent and uh, successful strategy. Uh, the, the Triggering them uh, is uh, the key point because the key point they have is to trigger you. Yeah. So you must switch the situation in such a way uh, in order to um, to become a trigger for them. Um, and basically, uh, 
you can do this in many different ways at many different times. I'm going to stop now because uh, it's already 25 minutes and I'm not sure how much memory I still have. But um, this is the main point. They want to trigger you and to get you angry, to get into a fight, to get to whatever, to humiliate you, to whatever. Now, you do the opposite. You make sure that uh, when you're done with that situation,